I'm here today with Deborah Rodriguez. She is the author of the best-selling memoir, The Kabul Beauty School, which was published in 2007. She is here today to talk about her new novel called A Cup of Friendship. When you, you know, the big change for you, you know, switching from memoir to fiction, which did you like better? Which was easier, which was harder? I, I, I think I actually like the fiction better because, I mean, when you're writing a memoir, your kind of personal life and everything about you gets put, critiqued. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, my children were like 18 and 21, right? Mm -hmm. And I will still get stuff on Amazon about what a horrible mother I was to have left my children. They were in the university. Right. I mean, it's yeah. like, but people don't get that. So all of a sudden, you, when you write nonfiction, you are now uh, publicly can, they can do anything with you. Yeah. I mean, and that, that, I didn't like that so much. That felt really weird. Um, my children had a hard time with, you know, saying, oh, how could she, you know, what a horrible mother, how could she leave her children? Mm -hmm. And they're like going, yeah, we were at school. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, it, easy, you know, it's fine. So I like the aspect of not having my, um, my public story, which it's already out there, but, you know, going in that route again, I like that aspect of doing fiction. Mm -hmm. I also like the creative, um, movability, I guess. You know, I like how, you, you know, um, Candace, who was the snobby American, mm -hmm. and, you know, the highbrow. In the very beginning, I kept her very unlikable all the way through. Just a real snot. Yeah. And um, she, I, we softened her up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like she became more likable but in in my head i didn't want to go that way but as she evolved and like ahmed mm -hmm. um he was a real minor player in the very beginning when i started writing it and he developed so i like how uh you know you got this book that you got in your head and you got it all outlined out and then boom ahmed i mean he just kind of blossomed into this very cool right. character, which was never my intention. Right. And so I like that. It's like, it's almost like they become very real to you. Because you kind of start out with, um, oh, you know, you kind of have a visual of maybe somebody in mind mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And then they morph. And, and it's like you're watching them grow and they become very real. Yeah. And, you know, you become sad if something happens to them. It's like I was, you know, be, you, you know, you write the book and then you kind of have to reread it because it takes a while for it to go into print and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So right before my book tour, I'm rereading it. And I'm sitting there crying. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a good book. <laughs> it was really funny. It was like I wanted to read it with, um, like, virgin eyes. And do you think you were able to do that? I did because it had been, it had been, um, you know, because you, it gets edited. So it kind of gets taken to you, you know, it gets sent back to you mm -hmm. like in, you know, all these little sections. Right. And so um, it had been, you know, a couple of months since I actually sat down. I just, I thought this is what I'm doing for this weekend. I'm going to sit down and read it word for word yeah. versus skimming over it because like, Obviously, I know the story, right. you know, but I wanted to read it word for word, mm -hmm. and I did that, and it was like, I was, I was kind of weeping, going, oh, this is so good, <laughs> right? Like, I'm my biggest fan. Right. <laughs> um, do you, when you were reading it, you know, was there a particular character that stood out for you that... That it, either you really enjoyed writing or you right. really enjoyed kind of getting to know in your last reading of the book? Um, I think, I, I have to say it was Candace. Okay. Because I really didn't like her uh -huh. at all. 
I thought, you know, I know you, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't like you, and yeah. your shoes are really nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. It's like, how do you look good all the time? Yeah. You know, it's effortless, and you just don't like her. Mm-hmm. And then you start liking her, and you just, like, are aggravated that you like her. She, my emotion towards her surprised me the most because... Okay. Really, in all along, I never wanted to like her because you know I kind of had someone in my head, right? Right. Um, and I don't like her. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, obviously it's not yeah. the same person, but it's you know it's a morphed version of somebody who I kind of had in my head, and um, yeah. So, and I was, um, I think, Ahmed. Mm-hmm. Though, you know, Hala John was not a surprise to me because she was straightforward for me. Right. But I, I really enjoyed watching uh, Ahmed and um, Candace kind of blossom mm-hmm. and come into their own. And uh, both such strong characters, basically strong in their own person right from the get-go, but then morph into... Really lovable people. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's an absolute, I mean, it is a treat to read. And I know Kabul Beauty School has been a favorite of book clubs because it does provide that look into Afghan culture, which is not easy for Americans to understand. Um, has Kabul Beauty School been bought up to become a movie? There were parts of it that I thought were very cinematic. Like I could, there was... <laughs> A particular part that I just thought, oh, I could just see that. Don't ask oh, me we've that been is. we've been working on movie stuff. Okay. I mean, it's not n- nothing's in blood yet, so mm-hmm. to speak. But yeah, we're, it's uh, it's kind of a project in the making, and um, you know, that's always a tricky Hollywood's tricky. Right. right. Yeah. And then um, now that you've finished this book, you're promoted it. I wish you the best of success with Thank it. You. Um, what happens next for you? Are you going to um, write more? I would like to. Okay. Um, I I live in Mexico, so everybody says, oh, are you going to write? Right. <laughs> are you going to write about Mexico? I mean, that's such a colorful area. But I don't know. I mean, I still, I have a, a real passion for um, the Middle East, the Gulf area, and that sort of stuff. And I, I feel like my expertise is in that area. Mm-hmm. I don't really have a whole, you know, lot of expertise other than living in Mexico, right? right? Yeah. So. But I think one of the great things about your first book, and this one as well, is that, you know, you the way you depict the culture as an outsider, you right, know? Right, right. And I think that that's, that's a That's gift. the quirky part yeah. of it. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like these... It's, you see things differently when you're new. Right. Absolutely. And I think that that visual is kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. And so do you still go back to Afghanistan? I don't. Not at this time. Okay. Um, what I do now versus doing the school, I do what's called beauty shop in a box. Oh, okay. And so we send boxes of hairdressing stuff and, and some training to like refugee camps and to different women in Afghanistan, Iraq, Jordan, those areas. Okay, so you're still affiliated with the school? The school is no longer. Okay. So my organization called Oasis Rescue, okay. um, we have kind of moved it from being just uh, the Kabul Beauty School into, um, we basically do a beauty shop in a box. Okay. Which is, it's kind of, it's, it really works. Yeah. And then your coffee shop, is that still in existence? This was um, given to uh, my, I had a partner with it, and then their family kind of took it over. Okay. And so, yeah. All right, so There's, it's still there. Uh, well, you know what? I've heard different things. Um, you know, uh, Afghanistan changes very quickly. Mm-hmm. And so, um, I think it's still there, the last I heard, but you know, things change so fast. Yeah. By the time this airs, it may not be there. I'm not certain. And I keep trying to get current information. It's very difficult. Is it a matter that you, I mean, you, would you even go back for a visit just to see how things are? Security or? is a little tough for me right now. Okay. So for that reason, um, my kids kind of have asked me not to go back right now. Okay. My mother is a little bit older. Okay. And so there's just certain things and 
Not right now. Okay. And have you ever wanted to come back to, how long has it been since you've lived in the United States? Uh, well, I was out for five years, okay. and then I lived in Napa Valley for three, okay. mm -hmm. and now I've been in Mexico for about a, a little over a year. Okay. So no glimmerings of what the next book might be? A well, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I've thought about, I, I've thought about uh, bringing in a uh, possibly a sequel with Sonny and Candace mm -hmm. because I think the re-entry phase that Sonny has to go through and I think Candace could be a very strong feature and um, I don't I don't think I want to go back to Afghanistan, but I've thought about uh, some place in the Gulf, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and bring in... Um, stuff like that. Kind of follow them on their next adventures. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I and I think Candace, Candace is, you know, kind of a strong chick, so yeah. you never know what she's going to do. Right. But yeah. it would be interesting. I think so. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. It well, was thank a pleasure you. to meet you. And I wish you the best of luck on your book. Thank you very much. Thanks. That's it. That's um, A Cup of Friendship by Deborah Rodriguez. I'm Carol Jackson, and I am the branch manager at the North St. Paul Library, part of Ramsey County Library. Thank you so much for tuning in.